Hello everyone and welcome back to Octopath Traveler 2. That's right. My name is Maxos and today our goal was, will be pretty simple. We will not do any storyline or anything special like that. However, let me show you the map real quick. Uh, as you can see, we did um, travel around the world. Well, it's Octopath Traveler, right? <laughs> so I did travel around the world and uh, just trying to find some shrines. You might remember last time what we got out of shrines. If you don't remember, I'll keep the surprise until we get to one of those. And also, there is an extra something I wanted to show you. So this episode, that's what we're going to do. What exactly? <laughs> I'm going to keep it a surprise. That's right. <laughs> but I hope you guys are ready for it because it's going to be really fun. It's going to be different. We're not going to do any stories. So if you want to follow up the stories of every single character, you might want to switch to another uh, the next video. However, I recommend not switching because you might get some surprise out of that. What kind of surprise? Let's find out. And by the way, if you like the video, don't forget to give it a like. If you want to see more and support the channel, please subscribe and thank you very much. And on those words, let's go for it. Oh yeah. And this time we're going to use the fast travel. What does that mean is when you unlock uh, new cities, you can actually move from the world map and click on them and you can instantly travel to those. And why are we going to do that? Well, it's going to make our travel a bit faster. I don't think I did unlock this one. Yeah, they were pretty strong, but let's go for the first uh, shrine. So it is the altar of the flame bringer. And yeah, let's go for it. And you might see sometimes a new icon in the map. And it's not for the altar. So what is that icon? We'll find out really soon. And especially what we get out of that. Oh, especially that. And some of you might find it a bit interesting. I did not talk about it yet, because uh, in the first Octopath Traveler there was something about that, but I was waiting until we were getting this one in the second game to show it to you. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do right now. And I might skip some battles, because, uh, well, I could show you just one. And I did enjoy this party, by the way, because, uh, yeah, they're pretty fast. <laughs> All right, let me check this one right here. The fact that we no. get buffs in the night, it is great, guys. I love it. But we might be a bit overpowered, as you can see right now. Yep. Did you see the damage? <laughs> By traveling around the world, you get access to new shops. And thus, we did have enough money to buy, I think, a Mega Staff. Uh, let me check real fast. Yeah, Mega's Wand. And look at the difference of damage. It's 50 more special uh, spell power. Well, elemental attacks, so yeah, it, it, it's a bit busted right now. And this is why we will skip the fights. Also, I think I do have the special skill on uh, Temenos for evil wards, so we have more chance to flee. That's right. And we have evasive maneuvers, so we get less fights. So make sure you check the radar, because uh, if you see a different icon, which is not the shrines, that means there's something new and special. And that's what we're going to get. That's right. There's going to be extras. So, now that you can see the shrine, we're gonna head for that. I'm not gonna grab any chests or anything. I'm just gonna run around. Well, if... I was about to say if we see any chests, we will grab them, but, uh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> Alright! So, we're gonna dodge the fights, uh, if we can. Ready? And I will grind off videos, so don't worry, our levels will go up anyway. <laughs> All right, a quick save. Since there is a chest, uh, we will grab it. Yeah. I mean, I was about to say if it's a long run around, maybe not, but yeah, this one is pretty close. Oh, Shadow Bow. Is it good? We have the Mirage Bow. Uh, Shadow Bows, it's actually pretty good for casters. So yeah, because you have two kinds of weapons. You have the weapons for physical fighters and the weapons for magical users. And those are pretty damn good. I'll be honest, I did not expect it. Alright, surprise your foes. Alright, let's let's crush them. Let's crush them. I was saying I will dodge those, but... Eh. Blade and power, boost everything, and arrow fortune. Look at the damage. Even though he has a shield. I was not expecting that much damage. That is great. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's just burn him down. With a fireball, fire burn. Yeah. Not like that.
All right. So let's go for the first shrine. And I did explore a couple of them. And maybe, just maybe, uh, if you look at the icon real fast, do you see this icon? The shield with the tabard on it? Yeah, let's talk to the lady first before we get to the altar. You've come a long way to visit this remote church. I am touched by your faith. It feels as if the sacred flame burns brightest in my breast. I feel one so devout as yourself is more than qualified to join us in the cleric's guild. Let us raise our prayers to the heaven together. And you've obtained the cleric license. What's that? That's right. Secondary job, guys. We can have a main job and a secondary job. And now anyone can be that second job. So you still have your skills from the first one, but you also have more skills and weapons from that other job. So this is what I wanted to show you. When you go to jobs and you just go to your character, you can actually now switch for the job. And as you can see, you get all the skills that the main job do get. And you also get new weapons and stuff like that. And everybody, and I mean everybody, can become uh, the secondary job. However, as you can see, Terminos cannot, because he is a cleric already, so he cannot switch. So we need to unlock more jobs now. And now that you are aware that we can switch jobs, that's right, that's the surprise we're gonna get. We're gonna go for all the jobs of the game, as well as the altars. And that's what we're gonna do. Ain't that awesome? <laughs> oh yeah. And for the altars now that uh, we just go for him, we will get new skills. For chosen cleric, upon thee I grant you new power. And now what do we get? I don't know the new skills guys, by the way. So we will get skills for every single main job, and I don't know what they do. Tenemos learned the X skill prayer of for plenty. All right, so we will find out what they do. Let's check it out. Uh, jobs, uh, uh, that's skill now, yeah, all right. So, prayer for plenty. It restores HP to a single ally, ignoring their max HP. <gasps> oh, so we can go over the limit of HP. Oh, that is really good. Awesome. Awesome. So we got a new skill. And our goal is going to be to go to all the shrines I've unlocked so far and actually get those skills. <laughs> and now we can be a priest. So... Uh, since we actually have nothing with Partitio, now we can switch him as a cleric, because why not? I mean, it's an extra job. And uh, if we go check for his main job, yeah, we have all his main skills already. Pretty good, ain't it? <laughs> Here you go. So now, wait, can it be equipped by more than one character? Oh, I think we can. I think we can have up to three of those. All right, in the first one, there was a limit, but I think we can cheese the limit now. Oh, oh! now it's getting interesting. Oh, th that I didn't know. Awesome. All right, so as you can see, when you switch job, you get a makeshift weapon. So it's a, eh, out of what you get, you just create it. But you need to go to equipment and just equip it. And now we have that. So we can use magic for healing as well as some skills for Partitio. Now, as you will see, the main skill uh, skin from the job will not switch, but we do have access to it now. So when we get into battle, you'll see Partitio is a cleric now. Yeah, way. there you go. Look at him. Oh, yeah. And let's just try it out, shall we? Let's do this. By the sacred light. Burn. Yeah. And now let's go for the big buy. Yeah. Break him. Oh, ooh, uh, I, I, I meant not as much. <laughs> I don't know that when we switch job, uh, we do not get the passive skill from uh, the main job. I've so I do not get the bonus space. from uh, Moonlight for Terminus, for example. Or I don't get the bonus from Throne if I get a Thief. But uh, we still get all of the skills, but not the EX skill as well. So just know that, yeah, you need to unlock those as well. And there you go. As you can see, when we save, that's right, we can see he's a cleric now. And we can switch anytime we want, as long as it's not in combat. And we should be fine. Oh, thank you. And I know there is a village close to here, so we might try to just go for it. And I will dodge the battles now. Because <laughs> we have a lot to explore, that's right. Oh, yeah. And as you can see as well, the music did change, and it's pretty damn good. And here we go. 
So it is level 14. I will just go for the city. Might grab some chests on the way. But I won't go too far. Alright. Uh, where is the city? Uh, Storm Hail. Or the fall. No. So I guess it's Storm Hail? Oh, there's another sign. Alright. Ugh, what about here? Surprise attack. Alright, surprise attack, we can actually run every single time, and with Thanimos, well, uh, Temenos, I'm sorry, but uh, with a priest, you can actually unlock, oh, that's right, I forgot to mention one thing. Uh, let, let me check for the Mount Wise in Merry Hills. Uh, let's go for Mount Wise, I guess that's where we want to go. Yep, there you go, alright. So, since we unlocked the city from Crestland, which is Mount Wise, now we have access to it to the fast transport. And that's what we wanted. There you go. Uh, let me check in the map real fast if there is any new jobs or stuff like that. There don't seem to be any. Alright, awesome. So we can fast travel. Oh, I see a red chest. Uh, later on, later on. Right now we're not focused on that. But yeah, if you go for skills and learn jobs. For example, I will learn as a priest. Uh, let's go with Luminescence for uh, AoE spells. And uh, let's go for uh, Mystic, Mystic Staff to get some magic up. And now you can see I did learn the support skill as well. So if I go into the support skills, now I can also equip priest skills. And you can learn every single support skill of every single job with any characters. So you can do any builds you want with that. Which is amazing. It is really, really cool. So just so you know, yeah, that's the way you actually get overpowered characters. And you can customize as much as you want. So that's how you do it. Alright, so now that we got uh, the priest one, can we see it? No, you can't. Alright, can we zoom in? No. Alright, so let's go for... That's right. Let's go for the scholar one. Alright, let's be in our way. Well, that's right, I had business here. Oh yeah, there's two main stories, but we're gonna skip him for now. I'm sorry. It's a tale for another day. So let's save here. And let's be in our way. All right, here we go. So as you can see, there is a shrine and there's also a marker for the new job. That's right. And that's what we're going to get. So I did travel around the world. It took me about uh, a couple hours, maybe two or three. And I did check. Yeah, as you can see, I did explore quite a lot. And I wanted to make sure I, I will know where the new jobs are. As well as the shrines. I, I'm still missing, I think, the thief. So I will have to find it out. But I did find a shrine from the thief for the last, from the last time. So there you go. So what do we get out of that? Chosen scholar. Open thee, I grant new power. And now... Oswald is even stronger. The skill teach, right? What do we get out of teach? Let's check it out. Learn skill. Oh, I might have to switch characters to actually learn them. Run a single ally, your attribute raising effect for two turns. Oh, so every single buffs I got on me, I can transfer it. Well, copy it to another one. Oh my god. This is gonna be madness. <laughs> It's only attribute raising though, not attribute uh, dropping. So it's the buffs and not debuffs. So since we're close, let's go get the scholar. And I will have to switch characters. So when we get to the shrine, they can learn it. And that's why I, I have those characters right now. Hello, sir. Is this your first time here? In, this, in that case, welcome to the scholar guild. Here. Anyone with unquenchable thirst for knowledge is received with open arms. The fact that you journeyed here is proof enough of your insatiable intellectual curiosity. Allow me to license you, uh, to give you a license as a proof of your our fellowship. And so now we have the scholar license. Yeah. So now we can switch job yet again. And let's do it just real fast. Oh, it's like Sherlock Holmes. Oh, that looks amazing. Oh, yeah, I love that. And can we have two of them? Uh, switching job. Do you wish to switch job? Yes. Switch uh, scholar from 
Oh, no, so, so we cannot have more than one. Aww. All right. And I cannot go as a cleric? No, all right. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, it's fine, it's fine, though. Well, we have a scholar, so now... What is interesting is that Temenos can be also a caster for healing and a caster for damage. Yeah, that's right. But he doesn't, he doesn't get study from Oswald. So you need to learn Analyze in order to find a weak point of the enemy. It is fine though, because uh, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, so onward onto the next journey. So I still have to find where the thief job is, but I did go here for the hunter. It's uh, in uh, Torpuhopu, uh, Tropuhopu, or Tropuhopu. I, I don't know how to spell it, sorry. But now we are going where the hunter is, so yeah. Let's do a quick save. And right here, there you go. Oh, look at that. And by the way, every single time you get a new job, you can switch for a new look, and they look amazing. Those who did the pixel art for that, they did a freaking great job. They look great. Oh, there you go. Can you see the shrine at the bottom? And if you look at the west, you can see there's a job. So let's go first for the shrine. The altar. Oh, crap. I forgot something. All right. We're going to do a test. I did forget to bring um, our little Odette with us. So let's try it out. But I think it's not going to work. Let's try it out. When the chosen hunter appear, I shall bestow the power upon him. Yeah, there you go. All right. So now we know. <laughs> Oopsie. Let's go back. But since we have fast travel, we can just, in a flick of a wrist, and just finger stamp, we can get there. So yeah, that's pretty easy. All right, so let's go to the inn. Where is it? Um, Nope. Ah, there it is, the bar. Yeah. Hello. Well met, traveler. All right, so let's switch with uh, Oshet. Oh, not Odette. I'm sorry, Oshet. Shed, all right, and uh, we will go after that. Uh, maybe I don't know. Did we find a one for Casty? Yeah, let's go for it. All right, so as you can see, <laughs> the job from Temenos is still scholar, so he will remain as a, as the job as long as we don't use him. Or maybe we can have a second one. I mean, we're, I'm gonna have to do some tests because I did not expect that. So we switched the party a bit. Uh, equipment, we should be fine. And as you can see, I did raise the levels of a shed, but she's still level 18, so yeah, I would have to level her more. But we will get extra jobs now. And what I like to do is have some characters based on just casters and some others just on fighters. For example, um, Temenos and maybe Oswald. Oswald my, uh, might probably be a priest for me, just because he has healing and damage at the same time. But later on, when we get more jobs, and yes, there's more than eight. What? Nani? Yeah, that's a surprise, right? Well, there is more, I guess. Chosen Hunter, up in the egg grant new power. So out of that, we will get something new, and I will have to do some party setups. And I do level everyone. All right, let's check first. Indomitable Beast. All right, what is that? Uh, skills, let me check first. What do you get out of that? Uh, raise your physical attack, evasion, and speed for three turn. Wow! All right, that's pretty damn good. So you get a bonus of all physical attack. So this hunter right here, most likely a fighter for me. So it might go for a uh, hunter with warrior, for example. That is pretty damn strong. So that's what I like to do. All right. Oh, I did not check for the warrior skills. Oh. Oh, we're going to be missing some shrines, but yeah, I, I will get a few in this video, and later on, I will go grab some more, so do not worry if I miss anything. I will show you in the next video where I did get it. So yeah, don't worry about that. All right, let's try to run away. However, I do not have the bonus of fleeing. Yep. Oh, it's going to hurt. Party show slip and fell. Boop. Ow. Boop. Ow. We're still going to be good, so don't worry. <laughs> Can we boost flee? Oh, no, we can't. All right, all right. I had to try. Run away! Woohoo! <laughs> I don't usually run, but when I do a video just to unlocking jobs and showing you every small secrets in the game, yeah, that's that's when I want to do it. Hey, hello there. Oh, I'm surprised you managed to find this place. This is the Hunter's Guild, and I'm its master. Hmm? I seem too young to be the Guild Master? 
Well, appearance can be deceiving. I'm actually 120 years old. Oh, ho, ho, ho. damn. More importantly, if you found this place, that means you have a promise. I hereby recognize you as one of us. I look forward to seeing what you can do as a hunter. And we got the hunter license. Booyah! I want to check the look. All right, uh, so we have a lot more. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. Wait, does he have gears? Wait a minute. Oh, they all have beast ears. Oh, that's so cute. They look badass, by the way. Oh, <laughs> that is cool. Oh, that, I like that. That's a small touch. Oh, might as well grab the chest. Thank you. Quality jerky. That is so cool. All right, there has to be a lot more up here, as we can see from the map, but... Yeah, I'm not going to go there yet. It's a surprise for later on when we're going to do the main stories. So let's go right here in uh, Conning Creek. Yeah, I did unlock a couple of uh, villages so you guys can see the whole map. And I'm going to travel later on, but just walking around, I, I don't need that right now. So we're going to just skip right now for the tail for another day. But if you look at the map, yeah, look, look. <gasps> you see that? I guess this is the apothecary because this is... It's pretty simple to understand. Remember here, that was the island of the hunter. So that's where we got the job for the hunter. And here we have the thief. So around here somewhere, there might be something for the thief. I just missed it. And uh, here was the priest. So guess what? It was close to here. So I didn't get an idea, right? Scholar was here. And the job, if you check, was just behind it. So if if we're close to the, to the start zone of the apothecary, where do you think is going to be here? I mean, yeah. One plus one is two, right? Or three? I don't know. <laughs> so let's talk to you. Hello, sir. Ah, I like that look in your eyes. I can tell you've crossed path with a great many people. But such is your destiny, I suppose. Oh, Apothecary's Guildmaster, yeah. Healing starts with an encounter with knowing your patient. You've got the makings of a great Apothecary in you. I'd like you to join the Apothecary, apothecary Guild. Please lend us your strength. Oh yeah, and we got the license. Booyah! And this is one of the job I did enjoy playing with, because you could use poison, and the poison in this game, it is massive. It's really, really powerful. So I do recommend using it, by the way. All right, nice. So yet again, we're still gonna run away, do not worry. And I kept Oswald with me, because even though I run away, I always study first. So it's a free skill that happens before you fight. And that's pretty effective. <laughs> All right, let me check the map. Yeah, it was uh, north from here. Oh, maybe, is that the warrior guild here? Yeah, so the warrior will be around here. I did not unlock it yet, so. Should we check it out? Uh, let's check it out. Might as well. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna learn something with Particio to get a bonus of fleeing. <laughs> Run away! Ah! I slipped and fell. <laughs> Those crabs. Shed slipped and fell. No! All right. Take two. Give it a shot. Run away! Woohoo! So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna learn some skills as a priest for Particio. So we will get the special ability to actually just run away. Alright, so... Oh, I don't have any points. Okay. Never mind that. So, we have a choice. Uh, let's go for the first... Uh, the skill of a shed first. Alright. And I'm not gonna run, so I have more evasion right now. So let's slowly walk around, and I'm gonna teleport back to the city after that. And we're gonna grab Temenos. All right, North Conning, uh, Northern Conning Creek Coast. Yeah, there we go. And also, oh, I do try to unlock all the dungeons so we can see them in the map. As you can see, there's one at the bottom right here. And uh, I'm going to try to unlock him, but I will not do them uh, outside of videos until we get to one point where I can do it with you guys. So I will do a couple dungeons with you. Oh, yeah, that's right. You surprise your foe. All right, I can run away now. I need a plan. The plan is run away! Yeah! <laughs> awesome. So we're gonna get some shrines right here. So keep moving. And I do not run to avoid encounters the most. Come on, almost there. Almost there. Yeah, it's pretty hidden. But you can see it in the radar, so do not worry about that. 
So this one has to be for um, for our uh, apothecary. Yeah. So for Casty, right? Let's try it out. Oh yeah, it is chosen apothecary. Open the I grant new power. What shall we get? More potion, more poison, more power. Drastic measures. Oh yeah. Just the name itself is pretty cool. Let's find out. Let's go for skills. Learn. So, what did you get? Dress. Oh, wait, this is the second one? Oh, no. Well, oh, yeah, but oh, no for them. Unleash a powerful axe attack on a single foe and nullify their status, element, and their feebling effect. The more you nullify, the more potent the attack. Oh, so it's like Ikari Sword. Uh, the more the debu buffs you remove, the stronger your strike is. Oh, this is pretty damn cool. And you're actually gonna nullify all the bonuses as well. You would get that pretty late in the game, and now we have it early. Oh, wow. This is really good. All right, never mind. We're not going to run. So there might be more shrines I missed, but this one is the first I found on my way south from here. So we should go for a Psy. All right, let's give it a shot. I mean, this video is all about unlocking stuff. And I did find the one for Dancer and uh, the one for the Merchant as well. I... I I'm still missing the thief, but yeah, we're, we're, we're really close of getting all of them, right? Uh, what we're that's what we're going to do. All right, let's go for it. Uh, let me... Sh uh, no, uh, let's go for the bar first and switch Temenos first. All right, let's get back Temenos just for the flea rate. <laughs> so priests are pretty good for that. And I will set up a party. So we have... My, what I like to do the most is two casters and two fighters. And have as much weapons and... Uh, well, well, as much weapons options as I can. That's going to be probably north. Yeah, there it is. All right, right here. And we're going to just switch. Hey, Agnia, what's up? <laughs> Change party. Uh, let's bring back a Temenos. There you go. With Kasti. So I did unlock the job. And also... Oh, yeah, we did not check the look. Uh, let me check. Yeah, there is so much. All right, let's check first. Oh, look at that. All right. Oh, yeah. It's pretty cool. Nice. Oh, it's clean. I like that. Oh, look at the bow. Oh, that's cute. Oh. <laughs> All right. Awesome. So now we can run away more easily. So most likely Particio in my game will be a fighter. And might I might go as a thief, uh, thief for him. Why? Pretty simple. High speed and uh, multiple weapons. I will have dagger and sword, and he already has bow and uh, spears. So it gives me four weapon options, which is pretty damn good. But I will not have access to all the AoEs. Uh, is it for, for it? this way? Uh, let me run away. <laughs> Alright. Moonlight Judgment. Bye bye. Woohoo! So I will try to go. Oh, I should check the sign first. Uh, no. Conning Creek. South is uh, Inuemua. Uh, Inuehuma. Yeah. All right. So it has to be there. Let's go for it. All right. Oh, I see a chest. Hey, a customer. Hey, a customer. It's about to die. Very well. Bye bye. So do not worry, I will grind, I will farm a bit of videos, of course. Now let me grab it first. Yoink! Oh, we're going into the desert? Oh yeah. Eastern Sai Sand. Hi. For Ikari san. I forgot to bring Kari. Hi. Oh crap, forgot about that. Alright, but we can see the shrine already. And I see a temple up north. Can we go there? Seems not like from here, right? All right, let's go for the shrine. I did not come here first, so it's gonna be a surprise. But I will go for the city and bring Ikari back. Oh, cool! Look at the enemies; they look great. I'm just getting warmed up. Can we flee? Yeah, the bonus of fleeing from the priest is pretty damn cool. So if you want to do a speed run, most likely you are gonna use that. All right, where's the shrine? Oh, this way. So from here. Down here. Yep, there it is. All right, all right, awesome. Altar of the Thunderblade. Thunderblade, ho! All right. 
So I'm gonna come back later for this kill, and I will show you guys in the next video, don't worry, all of the skills we did learn. So do not worry about that. I'm just gonna run around real fast and unlock towns and everything. And after that, I just come back and unlock everything and every single dungeon maps and you don't want to miss small dungeons. You don't get something really good. Sometimes you just get chests, but it might be really useful. So it can be worth to check all of those side maps. However, sometimes you just have side quests in them, but you don't know yet because you have not unlocked the side quest. So this is why you need to keep track of every single dungeon you enter. And now you have to check both night and day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's gonna be night and day this time. So as we can see the guy on the left right here, there was someone. Uh, I mean, not the left, sorry, the right. Let me switch nighttime. All right, he's here. And day as well. All right, good. Sometimes they won't be here. So yeah. All right, let's go for Hikari. So we entered Sai. In Hino Hayuma. Hino Hayuma. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Do you see guys in the map? Do you see? All right, go, 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 go. <laughs> Teach me, oh great master. Yeah! I can tell by the way you carry yourself that you are a skilled fighter. But the path of the warrior is long and hard, and your journey has only just begun. Anyone who wishes to own the sword mastership is welcome at my dojo, the goddess of the style. Let us train together, both mind and body. Yeah, the warrior license, nice. All right, that's a freebie for us. Oh, that's so cool. And now we have, oh, it looks like a samurai. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, <laughs> now I'm so glad. All right, we're unlocking so much more now. All right, uh, the shop, not the shop, but the bar is right here. So let's switch for Hikari. All right, Hikari, welcome to the party. By the way, playing with him was so good. He's so strong. When you get the latent power, yeah, it, it's it's a kind of bit busted. And by busted, I mean <laughs> you can one-shot the enemies. So I will go for the merchant for a couple of players. And the reason is pretty simple. I will show you guys. Pretty simple. If I go in skills support skill when you get full power it completely completely fills the equipping character with the latent power gauge at the start of battle so you can start boosted instantly every single battle yeah if you don't think that's busted i don't know if it is or not but i, I believe it is so you can activate it and uh, just crush the enemy yeah every single fight now if it's not unfair <laughs> i don't know what it is <laughs> all right so let's go back right here Oh, I got a battle. I'm so glad that the warrior is actually now a samurai and not just a random warrior. But it, it looks much more better as a samurai and it feels like it. Especially the map itself where we have Japanese style. All right, here goes. I know I missed the chest. Don't worry, I'll come back. <laughs> All right, we're going to go unlock your skill, Ikari. And it will be super strong, I can bet on it. All right, cool. So we're entering the altar of the Thunderblade. What shall we get out of that? Chosen warrior, open the I grant new power. All right, give us more power. Ultimate stance. Ooh. Sounds badass. All right, skill. Uh, learn skill. What is ultimate stance? Extend the reach of your attack to all foes for three turn. Oh, no way. For every single skill, it's going to be... Oh, this is madness. And there is aggressive slash. So you random... Hit random foes, but now you're going to be hitting all targets with that. Oh, oh, that's so good. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, let's keep on our way. Uh, shall we go right here at Wellgroove? We have someone else now to boost up. It's Ignea. So, yeah, as you can see, exploring the world was totally worth it because I'm so uh, saving so much time now. All right, cool. Uh, where's the bar? Yeah, there it is. 
Bring in Agnia. Ah, there you go. Hey, Agnia. Aw. And by the way, the skill of Agnia for the night is so good. I'm gonna show you at the same time. Might as well do it. All right, uh, we have Nia as well. The, right now, we just need partition. Uh, yeah, we almost done everyone. Cool. Cool. For the first kills, of course. All right. So, when you're in the day, Agnia can allure people so they can actually follow you and do some th stuff for you. But when you're in the night, let's try it out. You can actually... <laughs> and treat people come can i have this bottle please i will dance for you sure and there you go you got it so it's like stealing but you need to have the level so and you have no chance to miss <laughs> that's so good that is so good like oh i'll take good care of this that's so awesome <laughs> so there you go i'm staying in the day just because i i like the music out of it but yeah those songs are so good and they're made for both. And right here, as you can see, yeah. Do you see the icon? Haha! -ha. I do not refuse those who come, nor purse those who leave. This is the rule of my class. Hermes was treated the same way. I don't know who that is, but yeah, sure. She came, oh, she came seeking my guidance, and so I gave it. And she could not, uh, she could dance on her own two feet. She left the nest. I shall assist you as a fellow dancer, but it must be your devotion to the art that drives you forward. And you've got the dancer license. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm afraid to open now. Should we check it out? Are you sure? Let's... Oh yeah! Look at that! Oh yeah, look at that! Yeah! <laughs> Looks awesome! What about you, Oswald? Oh, that's so good! <laughs> Feminos? Yeah, that's pretty good. And, well, Agnia, yeah, we can see... Oh, yeah. L look look at all the skills. They're pretty damn cool. It, it It's just a small touch, but it's so cool. It's It, it makes the grade even more enjoyable. All right, there's a the chest. I cannot miss that. Come on. Soldier bow. All right, cool. And now we're going to go for the altar. And we're close to it, so we're going to leave Wellroof. And let's head to the east side. Yeah, cool. Here goes nothing. By the way, I did play with Agnia a bit, and she's really strong. Using the Peacock Strut to boost your magic power, and you actually can do it AoE for the whole party. And you also have the Allured character, so we have um, the Dancer from the beginning, and that Dancer gives us a buff where... Well, not a buff, but she heals the character for 500 HP. It's a free potion every single turn. Uh, I mean, a free uh, healing grape. All right. Exactly. <laughs> and with Themenos, yeah, we can run away. We have the luxury of running away. All right, let's go right here. Oh, did I grab the chest? Oh, yeah, I already did. <laughs> so when I was running around, yeah, sometimes I just grab the chest. And this one was, I believe, a bow, which was not stronger than what I have, but, but pretty damn close. It's pretty good. So you will get many good items. Oh, this one, as you can see, I did grab it. Uh, where is the shrine now? Down here. Oh, yeah. Behind those uh, vines right here. Yeah. Altar of the Lady of Grace. Yeah, as you can see, we're running a bit around uh, the world, but we're getting so much stuff out of that. Chosen Dancer, up on thee, I grant new power. Oh, yeah. What do we get out of that? Come on. Come on. A big dance. A big wind dance. That would be really handsome. It is <laughs> Windy Refrain. Well, so far it has the wind in its name. So is it a big AoE? Like Throne? Let me check. Windy Refrain. Uh, deal wind-based damage. Yeah, on all foes. And cause your allies to act first <gasps> on the next turn. Oh my god. This is so good. So some people can be so slow sometimes. And you just use that and boom. Next turn, everyone plays first. Oh, that is so good, because the, the Hunter has a leg hold strat that you can actually slow down targets when you use that skill, but you don't need to use it when you have the Dancer, and you do that. Oh my god, that buff. It's going to be so good. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm not regretting doing that. All right, so there's only one left, and it's our Merchant. That's right. And it's right here, the Altar of the Trader. So as you can see, exploring the map is totally worth it. It took me quite a while. I, I think it was about three hours. But I was doing some combats at the same time, so I did level up. That was not on purpose, but that was pretty damn cool. All right. 
Western Crag Ridge Wilds. All right. And now, uh, oh, yoink. <laughs> it was on its way. Worth it. <laughs> nom, 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 treasure. I love that. All right, so we will run away from those. And as you can see, I already know their weaknesses. So that means I fought already. I'm out. Bye. <laughs> and if you look at the radar real fast, do you see on the top right, uh, top left? Yeah, that's right. We're gonna unlock merchant job. Howdy, partner. Ah, oh, you wanna be a merchant, are you? Looks like Woody. <laughs> Welcome to the Merchant's Guild. How's business? We're not a formal organization or anything, just a bunch of merchants who get together and help each other out. Must be fade that we met here. I'd like to welcome you into the fold. After all, a good merchant never turns down the chance to make new connections. <laughs> and we got the merchant license. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's 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 check the look for everyone because it might be the trench coat outfit. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. That's a real trader. I love that. That's pretty cool. And Nagnia. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. I love those styles. Really? I'll be honest. I love that. Oh, yeah, that's cool. That is so cool. <laughs> this vault looks so badass. <laughs> anyway, he is. <laughs> All right. So let's be back on our way south. Is it this way? Oh, oh. It, it was not. Ooh, it was not this way, but I'll take it. Awesome. I suggest you get out of my way. Oh, I did not fight that bird yet. It's my turn now. But we're gonna run. Bye. Have a good one. <laughs> we're, we all we have to do now is find the altar for um for Particia. Oh yeah, that's right. This way, and we go south after that. And as you can see, I did explore a lot. So I did explore, but I wanted to go for the city, so I did get quick travel out of that, and that is a really good idea to do that. Oh, the danger level did upgrade now. It's level 20. Oh, no, it was already 20. All right. So it took me a while to find this one. I don't know why, but when I came here, I was like, oh, all right, it's a dead end. And, oh, whoops. <laughs> out of my way. All right, let's get out of here. Thank you, Oswald. All right. So I came here and I was like, oh, cool, I got a chest. But if you go further and drop to the right, yeah, yeah, it took me a while. And look, the camera just panned out after. That's why it took me a while. <laughs> but we got the altar of the trader. Oh, yeah, let's go for it. So now what do we get for her? the chosen merchant? Hop in the I grant you near power. <laughs> oh, yeah. What do you get out of that? Come on, big skill, big skill, big skill. Negotiate schedule. Oh, can we stop the enemy? Oh, oh, that would be the boss. Come on, come on. What is that? Negotiate schedule. Pay a single foe to let you act during their turn? No way. So we can actually stop them, but play for them, for us. So we steal their turn. Oh my God. That has to be really expensive, but at the end of the game, you don't need money when you farmed a lot. This is going to be really good at the end. I can tell you right now, it's going to be great. Oh, yeah. So, quick recap. We got, uh, I guess, all the jobs. Let me check. Uh, jobs. Whoops. There we go. All right. So, we got a warrior. Oh, no, we're missing a thief. All right. Four, five, six, and seven. Yeah, I'm missing the thief, but I have no idea right now where it is. I know it's going to be close to where we got our thief, but we got all the skills for everyone, which is really damn cool, but I need to find a thief one. So what I'm going to do is pretty simple. I'm going to go back to New Delsta, and we're going to get the job. I'm, I'm going to have to find a way to find a job. And next video, I will have that job. I will tell you in the map where it is, because right now I have no clue. I'll be honest, I did not find it out last time. 
and I did try for at least half an hour, but I did not check everywhere. So it's going to be my goal to find it out. And no, I'm not checking any guides. If you guys are wondering, I'm just doing by myself the game because it's more fun this way. <laughs> this is my kind of way to play the games. And I do love that. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode where we did get all the side, the side uh, skills and the jobs because those skills we just got are going to be really, really good. And if you have any recommendation for me or you would like to see some characters as a specific job when I play, let me know in the comments and it will be a pleasure to just adapt the team so you will get the party you'd like to see. Because I don't mind, I'm gonna adapt to any situation, it's gonna be really cool. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a like. If you want to see more, sub to the channel and by the way, thank you for your support. And on those words guys, I wish you an awesome day. Oh yeah, see you soon for more adventures of Octopath Traveler 2. Have a good one. <laughs>